What is up everybody? Thank you so much for checking out my review of the Elite FTS quick ship lat pull down and low row. I'm a very big fan of this piece of equipment for a lot of reasons. In this video, you'll see a little bit about why I like this piece of equipment so much. Some of the pros, some of the cons, the other things to consider if you're thinking about getting it for your gym setup. But if this is your first time stopping by my YouTube page, thank you so much. My name is David Martin. I'm a personal trainer and online coach out of Champaign County, Ohio. So if you're in the area, come through. Let's get a workout in. I love having people out here in the gym and we are gonna talk about one of the best pieces of equipment that I have in the gym. First and foremost, I will say one of the big draws for this piece of equipment was the fact that it's made by Elite FTS. This is a brand that I've been connected to and a fan of for the past six, seven years now. I really like them because they put out a ton of educational content about powerlifting, bodybuilding, nutrition, so much valuable content that they've put out over the years. I really appreciate what they do, and that makes me more inclined to buy this equipment and apparel, uh, gym accessories from them. I really advise you to check them out because they do great work. I gotta give a shout out to Matt Goodwin over at Elite FTS. Reached out to him to help me put together this order of a couple machines and the customer service was on point. He definitely helped out. And when I actually went to the Elite FTS compound to pick up weight plates and save on shipping, he showed me around that facility, which is absolutely incredible and exclusive. So Matt, thank you so much if you're seeing this. I really appreciate all the work you did to help me out. I also forgot to mention that a large amount of the equipment that they make is produced in the US. And I do think that that helps out with quality. And it's just personally something that I like to buy if I can is buying products from the US. So I would definitely recommend Elite FTS as a whole. And while it does have a pretty simple design, this machine is extremely versatile. So my favorite movement to do it on it is the lat pull down. I have one of the prime attachments for lat pull down. So I'm gonna hop on there and show you how it works. Another nice thing about this piece of equipment is you can also do low rows. And it's very simple to swap out the lat pull down to low row. I'll do that real quick for you right now. The nice thing is, this machine, because it was quick shipped, the cabling was already completed for you. You didn't have to mess with it at all. As you can see up top, the cable actually does kind of go in the machine very slightly. It wouldn't be challenging to cable this machine, but it's nice not having to because I have a functional trainer over in that corner of the gym and uh, cabling that was a process. All you have to do to switch this from the lat pull down to the low row is pop off your lat pull down attachment Set that right there on the seat for now. The carabiners were included and you just attach this up to the top position. So then you would just attach your cable attachment to the bottom portion. It comes with a very solid two foot long foot plate that's adjustable as well, which is extremely convenient if you're training people with different limb lengths. And you know, <laughs> to demonstrate the obvious, you sit with your feet on the plate and row accordingly. I think one of the best aspects of this machine is the design. Here's the weight carriage. It's very big, so you could fit a ton of plates on the carriage. So you can see the carriage just kind of glides on the upright column, and it's extremely smooth. It's a great design, simple and effective. Next, let's talk about the specs of this piece of equipment. It's not something that I'm extremely familiar with, so I have the website pulled up. I'll leave that in the description if you wanna see it firsthand, but it's made with three by three 11 gauge steel, very sturdy. Um, I was really happy with the quality, like everything from Elite FTS, um, but you know, you get what you pay for. You, you pay a decent amount and you get a great piece of equipment that's gonna last a long time. So definitely, this is a great investment. I, I imagine I'm gonna be able to use this piece of equipment for years and years. I would say, even though I've never personally tried it, this has gotta be way better than the budget options out there. Like I know there's a lap pull down low row from Titan. And you know, it's, it's a budget type of equipment. So you never know what you're gonna get from that brand. As I previously mentioned, the machine does come with a lat pull down attachment, which you can see I'm pointing at it right now. It is a pretty high quality attachment. I'm very glad that it came with it, but I actually did invest in the prime family equipment. So you can buy that from Elite FTS. And you know, I think it's kind of a step above standard gym attachments. Talking about the overall footprint of the machine, it is five foot 
one inch and seven sixteenths long, so depth you could think of, and it is two feet, 4.5 inches wide, and it has a height of 92 inches. And you can either buy this piece of equipment in the red that I got, or you can buy all black, which I think both look great. As I mentioned, it comes with that adjustable foot plate. That is a very solid and well-built piece of this machine. Um, it also comes with an adjustable, uh, what is that thing called? You put your knees under it. I guess it holds your knees. Um, this, in my experience, actually is a little less well-built. Uh, it is nice that it's adjustable, but I do feel like it wobbles quite a bit. Um, not the end of the world in my opinion. You know, this isn't the most expensive or top of the line model. So you probably will get a little bit better quality if you pay more. But that doesn't mean that this, you know, knee or, or leg holder uh, doesn't work. It does the job great. Additionally, the upholstery on this machine. Um, I also, if you can kind of see this uh, leg extension hamstring curl, same up Wall Street, which I'll review that one in a later video. Um, it's good. It's very good upholstery uh, for the price. Once again, I think there is better options out there, but there's also worse options out there. Uh, I want to say like, I've, I've used machines like Techno Gym. Um, I want to say like the newer Matrix machines, just not a fan of that upholstery at all. Uh, this stuff, it's almost top of the line. Once again, I feel like old school uh, pieces of equipment or like the top of the line would give you that premium upholstery, but it's not the end of the world at the end of the day. So now let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Elite FES quick ship, lap pull down, low row combo. So pros, I have them written out right here on the phone. As I mentioned, the biggest pro for me is just the smoothness of the way this piece of equipment operates. It's extremely smooth. Um, also nice that it's plate loaded so you can add a ton of weight. You know, on some of these selectorized machines where you have to, you know, be mindful of the guide rods, you have to lubricate them, make sure that they stay in good shape over the years. You just don't have to worry about that with this piece of equipment. So overall, I was really happy about that. Secondly, the ease of use. You know, as you saw from my demonstrations, it's an extremely simple piece of equipment, but extremely effective. And third, which I briefly mentioned before, but it being quick ship, it'll come to your door much quicker than any custom orders would. For example, hamstring curl, leg extension, and another piece which isn't in the frame, those took very long. Uh, granted, COVID has everything messed up with supply chain and shipping, but if you were to solely order this piece of equipment, you know, you'd probably get it within a month. I can't promise that. I don't work for the company, so don't hold them accountable if delays happen, but the quick ship stuff generally does happen. And with that, it's partially assembled, excuse me. Uh, as I mentioned, I think we just had to lock in the bolts up top that hold the upper section um, to the main. I don't think that there was any other, perhaps the seat as well. But other than that, I don't think there was much assembly at all, which just made it that much more convenient. My list of cons is very short because I really do love this piece of equipment. Uh, so first thing, unfortunately, as I mentioned with supply chain is my guess, prices of steel increasing. Um, from when I bought this piece of equipment to currently, there was a several hundred dollar price increase. I wanna say it increased by a solid 300 approximate dollars. Um, which is unfortunate, you know, it, I believe is currently listed around $1,220 if my memory serves correctly. And you also have to think about shipping on top of that. Shipping isn't cheap. So you do have that to consider. You're probably looking at over 1300. No, you're definitely looking at over $1,300. So keep that in mind, you know, uh, it's either this or you buy the budget option and take a gamble. I am more of a you know a safe bet type of guy you're definitely going to be getting a quality piece of equipment with this but just be in mind it's going to be an investment an investment that you'll be able to use for years to come but up front you're going to have to have some cash and i guess the second part isn't really a con but more of a consideration because of the width of this piece uh not being very wide you will have to make sure it's on a very stable surface 
Um, the thing is with a lot of home gyms, whether they're in the garage or in the basement, that can be a challenge sometimes. And of course, you know, I have my squat rack, which is behind the camera, mounted on the most level surface of my setup. Um, there is a slight wobble. Um, nothing to be concerned about. I never think this is gonna tip over, but if I'm doing like a standing face pull or a bicep curl, it is gonna wobble a bit because the ground isn't perfectly level. It's ideal that you put it on a level surface. Once again, this doesn't affect performance at all. I just think it might have been better if it could have been a little wider. So overall, guys, I would highly recommend this piece of equipment, the Elite FTS Quick Ship Lat Pull Down Low Row Combo. It's one of my favorite pieces of equipment. I love it very much, um, and I would buy it again. So if you're in the market for a home gym, honestly, you could even fit this in a more commercial space if you want a plate loaded option. I would highly recommend it. Uh, I can't highly recommend Elite FTS enough. Thank you to Elite FTS for doing a great job as a company, putting out quality educational information and quality products as well. I do appreciate that. So with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate your time. If you liked the video or learned anything from it, please show me some love, hit me with a like, maybe leave a comment with any questions that you have down below. If you'd like to see more equipment reviews, I have more coming of all the pieces I have in my gym. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be first to know when my videos drop, ring that notification bell. Additionally, if you wanna check out any workout vlogs, I also host a podcast called The Trainer Scoop where I have a ton of high quality guests come on and talk about nutrition, training, health, it's a really great podcast and I appreciate if you guys checked it out, whether it be on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify. If you're in the area and you'd like to come through and hit a workout, let me know. And if you'd like to work with me to achieve your fitness goals, I also offer one-on-one -on -one personal training. And if you're not in my area or you're a member at another gym and you still wanna work with me, you can inquire at my website with the link in the description about online coaching. And once again, thank you so much for checking out the video. I'll catch you in the next one.